The first glass vessels were made more than 3,500 years ago in the countries that are now Syria and Iraq, and then a little bit later, Egypt. They were made by a technique known as core forming. The name tells you the whole story. The glass maker prepared a removable core around which the glass was formed. A mixture of horse dung, sand, clay and water is mixed together and shaped to become roughly the form of the inside of the glass vessel. After drying, a file is used to give the core its final shape. Then it's dried thoroughly and fired, gotten hot enough so that the organic material vaporizes and the clay is fired. Then the hot core is lowered gradually while rotating into a small crucible of molten glass. Alternatively, to coat the core with glass, it's possible to roll the hot core in powdered glass, reheat, roll it in powdered glass repeatedly to build up the wall. After reheating, the glass is rolled on a flat surface to make it perfectly smooth. A spiral thread of a contrasting colored glass is created by wrapping it around the glass on the core. In this case, white, followed now by a yellow glass. This is called threading. After thoroughly reheating the glass, a sharp tool is used to comb or rake the decoration upward. After reheating, the glass is rolled on the hard flat surface again to make perfectly smooth the surface of the vessel. After reheating, tweezers are used to squeeze the upper portion of the vessel. The glass displaced to the left is used to form a rim. Next, suspension loops are added. Here a little bit of glass is gathered out of the furnace and attached to the side and then using tweezers the glass is manipulated to form a loop. Finally, the rod is tapped firmly, which loosens it from the core. The rod is slid out, and the core is picked out with a tool. After cooling, this can continue to completely clean the inside of the vessel and leave a clean cavity.